Welcome to InjuryGuru.com. I'm Carla Schimmelfinnig, Registered Physical Therapist. And the common question that I'd like to tackle uh, for this video, in this video, is the, uh, the question that I get so often. And um, I, I love to answer this question because it gives me the chance to talk about one of my favorite topics in the world of physical therapy. But the question is, um, how long will it take me to fully recover? So anytime someone's injured, I see a patient and I see him for the first time and that is almost always a question that they have. And don't blame them. Everybody wants to know how long is it going to take to go through this process. Like I said, I don't mind answering this question, but my patients don't always like my answer. And I'll tell you why. Um, everybody is different. Every body is different. And we all heal very differently. So that's why it's hard um, for us to give you a real specific answer with a, a certain date and, and time. Um, but we can give you a good approximate answer. And that answer is based on the norm or what we typically see. Uh, so you probably are asking, well, what is the norm? Uh, that gives me the opportunity to talk about uh, the healing process, which I told you was my favorite topic, one of my favorite topics in uh, physical therapy. So uh, the healing process is um, a, a process uh, that takes place naturally in our body anytime we get injured. There are three phases to the healing process. The first phase is the inflammation phase. The second phase is the proliferation phase. And the third phase is called the remodeling modeling phase. Uh, the inflammation phase starts as soon as you get injured. So as soon as there is injury or insult, a signal is sent to the brain and the brain interprets that signal and it tells the body, oh, I've been injured. Uh, we need to start the healing process. So that healing process starts right away. And that's called the inflammation phase. Uh, the inflammation phase will last uh, anywhere from five to seven days. So as the uh, inflammation phase, though, is ending, the proliferation phase begins. And that phase lasts anywhere from two to three weeks. Now, as the proliferation phase is ending, the remodeling phase will start. And that phase actually can take anywhere from six months up to a full year. And it just depends on the severity of your injury. Now, what I've just described, that's the process that happens in a normal, healthy individual. Um, so if you add um, any type of disease or disease process to that, that only extends this whole process and makes it take a little bit longer. Um, I like to give the example of a paper cut. So let's think about a paper cut. We've all had that paper cut, uh, that annoying little paper cut. Um, so when you, th you think about a paper cut, you, um, it's, a, it's a small superficial wound is what we call it. Um, and as soon as that uh, paper cut happens, the body goes into action and it starts to try to heal that. So the inflammation phase begins right away. What do you feel when you first get that paper cut? Uh, you might bleed a little bit. Um, you feel uh, so that, that that day or even into the next day, you'll feel soreness and tenderness around that. Every time you bump it, you might even break it open a little bit more. Um, you'll see redness um, and even some swelling around that paper cut. But by the second or third day, uh, that paper cut is actually starting to heal now. Um, it's, it's closed. You don't, uh, every time you bump it, you don't break it open again. And if it was deep enough, you might even have a scab to that uh, wound. So uh, the, the proliferation phase and the remodeling phase all occurred as well. It's just that they uh, were able to occur much faster because it's just a small superficial wound. So if you think about that paper cut, but now you think about a, a surgical wound. So let's say you've had a, a total knee replacement and, and the size of that wound. Or maybe you um, ran into somebody or something and you got a deep thigh bruise. Um, so you can see the difference between those uh, types of injuries. Uh, so the, the more severe the injury, the longer that whole healing process takes. A physical therapist is an excellent source um, of, uh, of information about that whole healing process. So if you're seeing your doctor, a physical therapist, or another health provider um, for an injury, and they, they, sh they will be able to give you a good but approximate time for that healing process to occur for you. 
and um, they're going to use um, what they uh, have seen in other patients, so what the norm is. So uh, just hang in there, don't give up, uh, don't get frustrated, but um, if you're doing everything that your uh, provider has asked you to do, is telling you to do, uh, then just hang in there. You're going to get to the end of this and you'll, you get, you'll be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and get through this healing process.